Hi, welcome to my Eco Buzz. I'm Jessica Gregory, and I am excited to be able to introduce to you the first species spotlight episode of the season. Now, the animal that I'll investigate with you is a bit of a strange one, but hopefully that will give you something exciting to go out and look for the next time you spend some time outdoors. So, without further ado, let's go check it out. Maybe you've been on a hike outside before and you've come across a sandy area with little depressions like this one right here, this one, this one, this one. These are actually created by an insect called an ant lion. That's right, a lion. But don't worry, it's only the size of an ant or smaller. The, the little ant lions will dig these, these funnels and use them as pitfall traps to catch their insect prey, whether that be an ant or um, another type of beetle or another crawling insect. Um, they fall into the trap and the ant lion larvae is waiting with its jaws open at the bottom. If I dig into the bottom here, I might be able to find the little antlion larvae. Aha! There it is. You can see he's got these huge jaws in the front. That's to help him catch his prey. Um, he also has like a, a venom that he'll inject the prey with, but no worries because there's no way that he can harm a human with that. As he's in my hand, you can see he's trying to crawl backwards. They use this backward motion to get under the sand and then they'll go in a circular pattern which creates that funnel. I'm gonna put him down into the soil. He's trying to dig down into it right now. Gotta kinda keep an eye on him because they will bury themselves quickly. There he goes. Now ant lions can actually move their pitfall traps to a new location um, that is either less disturbed or that has a, a larger food supply. Another fun fact is that the hungrier the ant lion, the larger the funnel in the pitfall trap. Check out the Facebook page for a link to this research. Ant lions are insects that undergo complete metamorphosis, which means that they have four life stages, egg, larvae, pupa, and adult. However, they have an extended life cycle, which means that one generation can take two to three years to mature. And adult ant lions look quite different from the larvae that we saw a few minutes ago, which is pretty typical with complete metamorphosis. And um, if I can show you an example right here, they actually look very similar to a dragonfly or a damselfly. The difference is that ant lions are usually active at night and they're very sloppy flyers. So if you turn on your backyard light after dark, they're pretty recognizable. So why do we care about ant lions? Well, adult ant lions feed on nectar and pollen and they will eat other insects um, sometimes as well, which means that they're important pollinators and they can help to control some of those unwanted pests. Cool. I hope you've enjoyed learning about ant lions with me in this species spotlight episode and feel free to go find some sandy areas whether that's along the lake shore or further inland um, anywhere where there's some sand and take a look for those little funnels see if you can find some ant lions on your own thanks for joining me happy naturing <laughs>